automatic blinds. So as I promised, uh, I'm going to do a quick uh, video tour of our new apartment and some of the uh, differences like the one behind me that you just saw. So uh, let's start out in the uh, hallway. So here we are, this little uh, door bell there, a light for the hallway. Come in here, got some uh, shoes, radiating heat. And uh, first thing you'll notice, we've got a, a bathroom here. Um, it's got a sink, but there's no hot or cold. It's uh, one temperature only. And the uh, toilet is uh, hovering. I don't know how you would call it. And these are the uh, flushing mechanisms. The smaller one is if you go number one. And the larger one is if you go number two. Uh, one good thing about the uh, plumbing here is uh, if you uh, want to flush for a longer time, you can just hold the button down. Anyhow, that's the uh, restroom. And then straight in our living room here is next. Uh, we've got a couch. Uh, that we got used from a uh, friend of family, which was very nice. Um, we have a TV that we don't have the uh, feet for, and unfortunately, uh, I don't have the tools to be able to mount this onto the wall right now, so we're waiting on uh, Juliana's dad to come by with uh, some of the right tools. And uh, you'll notice these walls here No studs. It's all uh, stone, concrete, um, cement blocks. Um, again, it's more radiating heat. That's basically uh, universal in Europe. Um, on each of the heaters, you can turn it up or down. Usually we keep it kind of right in the middle and uh, if it starts to get cold, we'll turn it up. But if we're leaving the house, we can turn it down. Uh, in our living room, we have a uh, front balcony. The front balcony just goes out to the roadway here. And underneath us, there is a garage. But uh, we don't have access to the garage. Unfortunately, our apartment doesn't have parking included. That's all right though, we have a free on-street parking. Uh, a bit of mess here still to clean up. But uh, yeah, we still need to get a few more pieces for the apartment once we have a little more money coming in. Uh, Juliana has a nice old uh, rocking chair from uh, family and an old coffee table from her parents and uh, a nice carpet that she hung on to in her parents' garage uh, from when she was living alone in Frankfurt. And if you come down the hallway, we have the kitchen. And this might be one of my favorite rooms. Um, there's like a little breakfast nook here. Um, we've only eaten at it once, but it's nice to have that space for now since we don't have a dining table or anything. And then out here, we've got a second balcony, if you can call that first one a balcony. And here we have uh, some of our refrigerated goods outside, as well as the last of our IKEA furniture that we haven't put together. Those are outdoor chairs that we still need to assemble, but it's just been too cold to go outside. So I'll do a quick panorama here. There's our second flat screen TV. No, actually that's just a uh, hood vent. Uh, but it's automatic, and uh, once the burners get up to a certain temperature, it automatically turns on, which is great. Got the uh, oven, stove top, which is induction. Uh, you can just touch to turn it on, and then the lights come on. 
You can turn it up, turn it down, turn it off. <laughs> um, our spice rack, right now it's just uh, fake spices. I think we have some salt and pepper, but that's about it. Like I said, we've only been here for a couple days. Um, plenty of storage. But uh, the unfortunate thing is, is uh, no dishwasher and no fridge. Here in Europe, they don't uh, believe in those things. You have to hand wash everything and refrigerators outside. I don't know what this thing's for though. Huh, interesting. And over here in the uh, cabinet, it's kind of interesting. It almost looks like a fridge. And uh, just below it kind of looks like a uh, freezer too. Hmm. I don't know, I'm sure we'll figure it out. So more radiating heat, uh, toaster, no microwave yet. Still waiting on that. Again, there's our uh, kitchen. Um, yeah, pretty happy with our kitchen. Looking forward to cooking a lot of meals, save a little bit of money. And then this is my personal favorite room in the uh, house. Make sure no one's in here. Oh, good. It's empty. This is our uh, shower. We don't have a bath, but it's a uh, rainfall shower with the uh, little attachment. And depending on which way you turn that knob, it will either use the rainfall shower or that little attachment there. One of my favorite things in Europe that I have just recently discovered is this thing on the wall here. You see all our towels hanging from it, so you can probably guess what it is. But just like on the radiating heat, there's a steam coming in here, and you can turn up the temperature, turn it down. And right before you shower, you can turn it up a little bit, and you have nice toasty towels for when you're finished. Here's where I do my makeup every morning. Got a little bit of uh, storage underneath here. Oh yeah, there's all my makeup. Hey, you don't get this pretty from uh, not putting on makeup every morning. <laughs> um, <laughs> on a more serious note, uh, up here, this is a cool little feature. This thing is our uh, vent. And if I turn it on, you wouldn't be able to hear it anyhow. It's very quiet, but... Um, when it starts to seam up in here, I don't know how it knows, but uh, it starts sucking out the steam once you've been showering for a little bit, once it detects there's some moisture or something. So, and then uh, moving on, we've got our bedroom. Um, some differences about our bedroom. You probably noticed right away we have a separate bed covers, which I think I've mentioned before in a video, and um, separate mattresses as well. It's uh, pretty common in Germany. Um, I'm not 100% sure if it's a Luxembourgish thing as well, but people often purchase their own mattress um, so that they can pick how hard or soft the mattress is for their own personal preference. and. Uh, the bed sheets are, uh, again, I think I mentioned it in another video, but basically uh, nobody has to fight over the uh, covers. And uh, they're not full size, so they don't cover the whole bed, obviously. They cover a little more than uh, your own personal mattress. But um, yeah, then got some nice glass doors in here, the uh, automatic shutters that I showed you. And those are in pretty much all of our windows. And then you can go right outside to our terrace from here. Unfortunately, our bed's a little big, so this door's a little hard to get out of. I'll show you later. But another unique feature is if you turn the handle upright, instead of being a door, this whole thing leans. And you can allow a little bit of air inside. And I believe the German term for this is uh, Luften. Um, Luft is air and uh, a lot of Germans during the day to kind of uh, freshen up the uh, apartment or house will do Luften, which is uh, 
letting in some fresh air and uh, yeah, try and uh, make it a little healthier in the winter. I can't figure out how to close that with one hand, so I'm leaving that open for now. Uh, lastly, we have a second bedroom, which we've turned into our wardrobe space, IKEA furniture again. Um, and I'm going to be using it as a, a bit of an office and a space to try and create some videos and stuff. Um, I personally set up DJ Skateboard here. Although we haven't been blasting too much music recently. <laughs> we don't want to offend the neighbors here. So I've got a little bit of a desk going right now. Um, this is actually our outdoor table because I don't have a desk yet. And um, a makeshift mouse pad that doesn't work at all. Our vacuum, nice plant. And uh, one of my other favorite parts, or Juliana and my favorite part, of this apartment was that we had a uh, small terrace here. So you can see this extends in front of both bedrooms, which is great. But then we've got a little space here up on the rocks where we might in the summer put a lawn chair or something. We've got our uh, Eintracht supporter. If any of you know, Eintracht Frankfurt is a uh, soccer club here in Germany and uh, that's my team so uh, we've got our yard gnome and we've got this little pathway that goes to the neighbors but if you look up there there's a little bit of grassy space that's uh, kind of a communal area as well so that pretty much does it for the uh, tour of the apartment um, you can see I've got all these fancy tools. This was essentially the extent of what I uh, brought in my uh, two luggages that I brought with me from Germany. Um, obviously we had to sell or get rid of almost all our other stuff from Boston. Um, but I was able to bring my camera equipment with me. And as I mentioned before, I'm really going to try and make some videos. I'm hoping that I can get up to 100 subscribers in a, about a month time and uh, keep going from there. I'm gonna just post consistently and uh, supposedly that's how you do it. So that's it for the uh, tour of our apartment. There's a lot of other little things like the uh, outlets that are quite different but uh, if you want, you can uh, follow me on TikTok and uh, you might get uh, some more updates on some of the uh, small differences. These light switches are a little different as well. But uh, yeah, thanks for following. Uh, if you haven't yet, subscribe. Um, keep following along. I would like to, in the next week, try and do a few trips outdoors, kind of uh, walking and talking and showing a little bit of uh, our neighborhood and the uh, downtown area. One super cool fact I'll leave you with is that here in Luxembourg in 2020, I think it was March, literally right as this pandemic started, they decided to make all public transport free in the Grand Duchy of Luxembourg. So um, I'm also hoping to explore a bit of the country via free public transportation. And uh, yeah, I'll bring you guys along, make some videos, hopefully a little more entertaining. And uh, yeah, that does it for this time. Subscribe, like it, write a comment about what you wanna see. All that engagement really helps, I know, with the uh, algorithms and stuff. So, yeah. Until next time. <laughs>